Prime Minister, I'm doing a paper on this civil service pay claim, but if it's really urgent, I can give you an immediate response. Yes, please. What's your answer? I haven't got an answer. More a series of questions. What, for me? For Sir Humphrey. The claim is clearly self-serving and inappropriate and is significant for the questions it leaves unanswered. Right. Fire away. All right, but I think you should treat this as highly confidential or you'll never catch Humphrey out. First of all, you should ask what deduction... Yes? <laughs> Traffic. for you, I think. All right for me to go in, Bernard? Uh, yes, Sir Humphrey, can I just mention one thing? Yes? Bernard? Um, there has been movement. On what <laughs> subject? <laughs> on a subject on which the civil service hopes there will be no movement. The civil service generally hopes there will be no movement on any subject. <laughs> uh, yes, Sir Humphrey, but what I mean is... It's in relation to a subject which is normally wholly and exclusively within the control of the civil service that developments have developed. You're speaking in riddles, Bernard. Oh, thank you, sir. That was not a compliment, Bernard. <laughs> Make yourself clear, please. I'm sorry, Sir Humphrey, my lips are sealed. Uh, I am referring confidentially to minutes that I was duty-bound to make of a confidential conversation between the Prime Minister and one of his confidential advisers. Which advisor? I'm sorry, Sir Humphrey, I'm not at liberty to divulge her name. Thank you, Bernard. <laughs> and this confidential advice was to do with the financial crisis, was it? Oh, no, Sir Humphrey, much more important. Not his silly nuclear strategy. <laughs> much more important. You don't mean the civil service pay claim. <laughs> What do you advise, Bernard? Well, I advise you consider your position carefully, uh, perhaps adopting a more flexible posture while keeping your ear to the ground, covering your retreat and watching your rear. <laughs> Thank you, Bernard. You've been a great help. Uh, actually, Sir Humphrey, I haven't told you anything. I should hope not, Bernard. That would have been most improper. <laughs> Prime Minister, Sir Humphrey's here. Flexible. Ah, Humphrey, come in. Tell me what you think of this. Oh, what do you make of it? Well, it is rather a large document for you, an instant judgment. You only have to read the one-page summary at the top. Ah, oh, well, good. Well? Well? Prime Minister, you place me in a very difficult position. Do I, Humphrey? Now, look, I realise you have to have loyalty to your colleagues. But you also have a broad alliance to Cabinet and its policy. I agree. You agree? <laughs> yes. You agree with me? I agree with you. <laughs> ah, I, I, don't, I don't quite... Who do you agree with? With you. <laughs> not with Sir Frank? No. You're not arguing with me? No. <laughs> Perhaps I haven't made myself quite clear. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Well, what do you make of that pay claim? Uh, well, it's not excessive in itself, but at a time of national stringency, it is neither wise nor in the national interest. I don't like to criticise my colleague, but in my view, Sir Frank, <laughs> though no doubt acting from the best of motives, should have placed the good of the nation before the narrower sectional interest of civil servants. You see, this claim raises serious questions. It's interesting, because I've made a note of some questions too. Aha. Uh -huh. Good questions. <laughs> Where do they come from? Uh, occurred to me. Yes. Well, they're very good questions. 